Hello everyone, today I am going to tell a story of a princess. Long ago there lived a king who loved his little daughter so much that he fulfilled all her wishes. The princess loved toys. She never shared them with anyone. One night the princess dreamt that she was playing with hundred toys in a small magical playhouse. The next morning she went to her father and told about her delightful dream. Father, I want a playhouse with hundred toys, she said. The king sent a message across the kingdom that a toy maker who can make a hundred toys and a magical playhouse will be given one thousand gold coins. All the toy makers worked hard to make the beautiful playhouse, but the princess did not like any of them. One day, a Clown came to the kingdom and said, I can make the playhouse and the toys. He worked day and night. Seven days later, a beautiful playhouse was there in the royal garden. It resembled a like castle with towers and colorful windows. This is the playhouse I have dreamt of, exclaimed the princess. Each toy inside the playhouse was new and unique. The king was pleased with the clown and gave him 1000 gold coins. The clown said, the playhouse and the toys are magical. Her Highness should play with hundred toys every day. If she did not play with hundred toys, the rest of the toys will vanish. Found the clown and left. The princess was overjoyed playing with hundred toys. The entire day she spent in her playhouse. Some days later, the princess got tired playing with hundred toys. One day, she only played with seventy toys. The next morning, the thirty toys vanished. The princess remembered the clown words. The princess started crying. The royal gardener's little daughter Lata heard her. Lata asked her highness, why are you crying? The princess said, my some part of the playhouse and some toys vanished. May I see your playhouse? The princess thought for some time. Then she took Lata into her playhouse and they both started playing. The princess had never shared her toys with anyone. Now she realized that it was actually fun to share and play together. Before long, she invited all the children of the kingdom to play with her toys. So friends, what do we learn from the story? Yes, sharing is caring. Thank you.